Issues. What's up? We're Issues. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to an interview with Issues. Hello. What's up? Howdy. Hi. Howdy. How are y'all doing? Hi. Hi, really we're good. good. We're great. Good? We're about to play Toronto. This is the biggest headlining sold out show we've ever played. Just sick. Fun really? fact. Yeah. It's bigger than the masquerade. How big is it? 1300. Congratulations. Uh, that was in the Philippines. Yeah, Philippines was, yeah, well, that was like 200. Well, you know yeah. what? <laughs> no, I'm wrong. You don't have a mic, so hush. So you've officially announced that you have a new record coming out called Headspace, and we're very excited about this. Sick. Just tell me a little bit about the album and some of the moments you had creating it. Uh, well, we all tried to kill each other at one point. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about that. Um, we pretty much just almost broke up over it. <laughs> That's nothing He's new. Not wrong. <laughs> Every time we try to make music together, we almost break up over it. You, anytime you get five or sometimes six dudes who care passionately about something in the same room, and we all come from various head spaces, mm. uh, then you know you're gonna have passions flaring, fights and stuff. But like, with tension comes great art. You know, drop the mic. Basically, like, right here. yeah. Basically, it just you you know, it. it happens. It's hard. It's hard oh. for us to make music together, but you know, we uh, we get the best results out of it because we're all so passionate. But yeah, this one was rough because we spent over a year on it, so yeah. that the tension got really, really hard. <laughs> well, in our first interview about six, seven months ago, you mentioned to me The Realist, but that was before it was actually out. Like, no one had heard it yet, and now you've officially shared it with everybody. And I just love how many different genres are put into this one song. Like, there are disco vibes, you can hear the metal part of it. Like, it's kind of all over the place, but it works. So tell me about how you kind of got to that point. Hmm. AJ? No, AJ. It's I'm not good at this. I'm really AJ, not good at explaining this stuff. So. We're crossing streams right now, but I'm down. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, The Realist is kind of a fun song because it was the first one that we wrote where it was like, okay, wow, this is really weird. Like, super stoked about whatever we're doing. Um, actually, the first riff that was written was the post chorus riff, the hey, hey, that one. And um, it was like, the, that specific riff was inspired by two notes from a Guthrie Govan song and just kind of came out of nothing and uh, we were, I, the reason we, well the reason we released it first was purely because it was so freaky and it comes from like that place and it comes from like you know super groovy vibes in the first verse and second verse stuff like that but it's just it, we just listen to a lot of stuff so anytime we make music it sounds all over the place because yeah. we're all over the it place it makes its way in, in it yeah very Guthrie much so yeah. yeah never heard of them well we well, have <laughs> 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 and you've also Old Guthrie. You've Old also Guthrie. shared a video for the song. It's really cool. It's kind of like you just threw a big party. There were dirt bikes flying around everywhere. What was it like being in that environment? Kind of like take our viewers on set for a second. It's a video. You're talking about it, Tyler. <laughs> I, I had a fun time. <laughs> right? I mean, it was fun, yeah. But it was also really tiring. It was like a nightmare. Trying to like... I don't know, it was just like, it was rough being at the dirt bike track all day, by the end of the day our eyes were just like bloodshot red and everything, so. Dust and um, stuff. Yeah, so much dust and everything, but it was it was a really different video to shoot. It was kind of out of our element, and it was cool to have like legit professional motocross riders in the video. Yeah, they were all like super cross champs and like so. team coaches and stuff. Um, it was really cool because we wrote, we write all our videos usually with a producer in mind, and we work you know to bring the vision to life with a with a director that can you know obviously attack something like that so we came up with that with our friends enact films and it was crazy a lot of fans think that me and michael actually rode the dirt bikes oh yeah but it, we had a stunt double <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't even stand up on it because oh you too, tried i was too big i mean it was too big for me and they were souped up like race bikes so like even if you did like we'd be like off yeah no. dead dead intense Oh yeah, <laughs> he just kind of took the lead on that one, so it's all good. Oh, some salt. Where's the took salt the lead shaker? We need it. <laughs> and you're, <laughs> what are you and you're now touring North America. You mentioned how you're here in Toronto tonight. So just let us know how the show's been treating you. The shows on this tour have been awesome. There's been a lot more sold out shows, honestly, than I expected because we've been touring on the same music for two years. Like our album was supposed to be out this tour, yeah. but it's not. 
So we decided to play just to play a couple more new songs to get people warmed up. You know, the video came out on the store, which is awesome. Yeah. And like, hangs are crazy. Tons of sold out shows, especially on the coast. And like, I no regrets. You've posted this photograph. A fan actually made you these candles. Oh, those yeah. are some so pretty sick. cool candles. You have to tell me, how did they present those to you? Were they just like, hey, I made these candles? Because all of you were like, greet. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> They, just they, in a they box. said nothing. Just handed us. They just handed them to you. Yeah. And then hugged us and like cried. No. They, it was he, a big guy too. It was like a really tall, like bigger guy. Remember? Yeah. He was oh, like, I, I made you these, and then he gave me a big hug, and he's like, "Can I just hug you?" And he hugged me in the picture actually. Oh, that's. Cool. That was really sweet. <laughs> that was actually my favorite fan gift ever. Probably. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah my yeah. girlfriend wants it. <laughs> <laughs> my merch company hit us up and was like, "We need to make these." Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. What were your reactions when you first saw that? I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to I do a seance. Cool. Okay. Is that bird shit just now? That was bird shit for sure. <laughs> was it an inch away from you or something? Was it, it was like right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, it's squirrel shit. My Gotta bad. It's a squirrel. Oh, it is a squirrel. Like, I love filming. I love squirrel shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's right above Michael oh, now. Yeah. Maybe we'll get blessed with some golden footage. It's yeah, good luck. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Well, as of right now, for each of you, what's your mobile ringtone? Oh. oh. Uh, Ayo by Chris Brown. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Someone call me. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I don't know my ring. Oh, yours just sounds like noise. Mine's awesome. It's just no, black it's, metal. It's oh, not wait, I don't black have metal. service. We're in Canada. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I can't. Yeah. Well, I have service with T-Mobile. We get full coverage worldwide. <laughs> Man, hold on. <laughs> Too bad for y'all. Y'all really got Sprint. I am it's going that? under. It's it's able to play it. What's that? LTE? Was it last day? Oh, wow. High speed binge on. Netflix, Hulu, <laughs> Vudu, and Amazon Prime. This is the cover. Wow. wow. Oh, incredible. I think it's a dead incredible. person. Um, I think well, I might upload 10 is, Instagram pics today. Fools fall for you. By choice of one. All right, here's mine. Oh, cool. I'm so good for Really? Yeah, I feel good. I'm in love with him. <laughs> That's exactly what you said. I said it's noise. <laughs> noise, not music. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I don't know how to stop it. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Ah, shoot. That's folk metal. I don't understand my phone. All right. We're good. There you have it, guys. Mobile ringtone. Oh, you, it's getting closer. Is it happening? Was that scroll? That, that was, was more scroll. I swear. I told you. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's right there. He's with there. his mouth open. All right. We'll, we'll get to the last All right, thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is... Oh, right, Let's yeah. get to the last question before we all Nature end up a little me messy. With a yes, I'm down. Yes, anything you want to say to all the issues fans out there who are going to be viewing? Um, we're done. That's it. You want more? Yeah. I thought we were waiting sure. to not get food on. No, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep going. I'm having fun. All right, let us know a little bit about outside of music. What do you like doing? Video oh, games. Okay. Video, games? <laughs> Video games. All of them. Okay. All the time. 24-7. Yeah, that's what literally all favorites? I do. Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yes, it's if you bring it to the show, I will fight you. I will beat you. Mortal Kombat, Assassin's Creed. I actually like hate video games. Oh, I don't yeah? play them. So then how about yourself then? Um, I like to cook. Oh, cool. I like Did you ever cook for the band? Play himself. Oh, yeah. I cook for the band all the time, and I, I'm the mom of the band. <laughs> but I like to cook, and I like to take leftovers and make creations out of leftovers. And me and my mom and her new boyfriend, we like to, um, we do those Facebook recipes. Oh. Some of my friends will get together. We do those like 30 second, like BuzzFeed recipes and stuff. Oh, cool. Those are fun. Those are crazy. <laughs> Michael doesn't eat anybody's cooking except Popeye's, No, Zaxby's, No, I eat Chick my grandma's Filet. cooking and my mom's cooking because find me somebody that could cook better than my mom. <laughs> find me. My mom. My mom could lick no. your mom. No. No. Yeah, my mom what? cooks better than your mom. <laughs> Absolutely not. I cook better than your mom. <laughs> Absolutely not. I bet it. All right, I think you we're... Cook my mom can cook better than your mom. I know, I know you guys wanted more. I'm we sorry, but I think we, we are getting have, the yeah. wrap-up question. Oh, I forgot. I'm okay. sorry. 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 My mom's the best cook. <laughs> Final words. She's sorry, guys. I am. Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, the Issues fans? Yep. Come see us on tour. On Warp Tour. On this tour, even though there's four days. <laughs> Pre-order our new album called Headspace on IssuesRock.us. Oh, there it goes. There's another turd for you. Mm, there's some heavy stuff. There's some poppy stuff. There's some weird stuff. Hey, buy the song. album. Forget Spotify. I mean, Spotify if you want. Yeah, Spotify. I mean, you can, you, but buy, you get it from anywhere album. you can torrent free music from. Kingdom Leaks, uh, kickasstorrents.ph, Pirate Bay, coming to a computer near you. Live from your sister's bedroom. Peace. We're at issues. <laughs>
<laughs> Perfect note to roll out on. I just want to say thank you so much for your time today. Sick. Of course, of course. And remember, Thanks. you're Always welcome. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. Issues. See you next time.